Hi, welcome back to the Box of the Lights game channel. We're playing Gears of War, the board game. For the first part of the video series, I'm going to give you a run through of the mission setup. There's a whole bunch of video series from uh, Robert, um, aka Black Belt Gaming. And I'm kind of picking up where he left off, really. So if you want to go and check out Emergence, China Shop, Belly of the Beast, go check out Robert's channel. So I'm going to pick up with Roblox. Stranded in the town of Landown, the Cogs must make their way through dark tunnels and bombed out streets to clear the way for the Cog offensive. Let's open the box and have a look at the components. First thing we need to do is choose our COG characters. We're going to choose two of these guys. These are the COG character cards. Uh, we're going to play two players, so we need to choose two of these. So these are the two guys who are going to try and complete the Roblox mission. Next players need to receive their starting weapons, grenades, and ammo. These uh, weapon cards are double sided so these are the ones you need to pick from for setup. Augustus Cole starts the game with the Lancer, Nut Pistol and two Bola Grenades and we put two ammo on the Lancer and one ammo on the Snub Pistol. So we search for the Lancer Assault Rifle and give this two ammo. The Snub Pistol has one ammo and he gets two hollow grenades. Ding Bed gets the Lancer with one ammo, the Snub Pistol with two, and also gets two bolo grenades. So our starting guys have got a good supply of grenades anyway. Next step is to set up the order and weapons decks. So this is the order deck. And these are all the cards that you're going to use to issue orders to your cogs. Damon and Augustus. So we need to give that a shuffle. And this is going to go on this player map just here. And the other thing is the weapons deck. And these are like weapons that you, that, that you pick up along different missions. So again, we're going to give these a shuffle. And they have this back. And we're going to put these here. Next, you need to find the mission cards for your mission. We're playing Roblox, so we're going to take these three cards. Okay. Different missions might have different numbers of cards, but these, this is ours, Roblox. And start with mission setup, and we have them in order here. We're going to place these here on this mission deck spot for now. Next thing we need to set up our enemies, and we need to check the mission setup card for this. Roblox tell us that we only have tickers, so this is going to be quite a strange mission to start with. We have no uh, Bs and Cs, so these are like... M Low strength enemies, middle strength, and then C's are like the high strength bad guys. So on Roblox, we just have tickers. So now we know what we will need for A, B, C. The next step is to take the enemy cards. Uh, we only need tickers. B and C are empty. But normally you've got like I say, these uh, tougher guys here. Look at the artwork on these cards. I've not played this mission before, but these little guys are already giving me the creeps. These are their, these are their minis. Funny looking guys, huh? <laughs> okay. So we're going to take all these minis and we're going to place them next to the board. Next to their enemy car here. Next step, you'd normally get the wound markers for these guys as well, but Tinkers don't have wound markers. They only have one wound, so one, one shot's going to kill them. Next step is to set up the AI deck for the tickers here, for our enemies. So the first thing is to grab all the AI cards for the, the enemy concern. So here I need to grab these tickers cards. All right, so keep them in sorted. When you put them back in the box, keep them sorted by the type of enemy. Makes setting up for the next game a bit easier. So I'm going to use uh, these. And you also need to use a whole bunch of AI cards from the general. 
set as well. And these are numbered 1 through to 7. And the setup card will tell us which general AI cards to use. So mission setup for roadblocks tells us to use general AI cards 1 through 5, skip 6, and grab number 7. So we want these, we want all these, just not number 6. Now we're going to shuffle these together, and this will become our AI deck. I got these around the wrong way. See the card backs match the symbols here. Now we should revisit the setup card and get the location deck set up. So how to set up the location deck is on the reverse of the setup card. We can see that Roblox has three levels. We're going to start with level one. Two, and then progress through 2 and 3. So we need to grab these cards, 3A, 4A, 6A, 9A, 15A, for level 1, and then the same for level 2 and 3. And once we've got levels 2 and 3, we're going to put these here, they're locked locations. You can see these lock symbols here. But we can start setting up with level 1 straight away. These location cards are quite small, kind of half size cards. So we just need to find all the numbers that match. So here we have 16B, 12B. We need to find the ones that match these numbers on this mission setup card. Now one thing you'll notice about Roblox is that there's level 1 has location 3A, and so does level 3. This is a mistake. You can't have the same location in, in two levels. So um, I've checked the Fantasy Flight Games FAQ, and the answer is that this 3A here down on level 3 should say 12A. So we're going to use this location, 12A, instead of 3A on level 3. Okay, I hope hopefully that's a question that maybe a lot of you were wondering about, and, and uh, well, now you've got an answer. Okay, the other thing is that's a little bit different about Roblox to other missions is, um, normally at this point, look, I've set the the location deck up for level one. Um, but normally at this point you give it a shuffle and then you go ahead and set level one up. But what's going to happen on Roblox is we're actually going to place this mission deck, this location deck here next to the mission deck because we're going to explore level one tile by tile. Right? We're not going to have the whole level laid out in front of us. Remember this is a, an exploration type mission. Here's our level 2 location deck, so again, we give it a shuffle. I'll do this properly in a second. We'll place this here, and then the same for level 3, remember 12A. Um, we give a shuffle, we place it here. Okay, so these location decks are waiting for us to get to levels 2 and 3. The other thing we should do is use these locked markers to tell us, or remind us, that these levels are currently locked. And now we're ready to set up the first level of the map, so this is the next step. Remember, we're not going to set up the whole of first level one. So normally you would draw the first location, place that tile, then the next, then the next, then the next. We're just going to draw the first card from level one. And we have tile 9A. <coughs> There's 9B, 9A is going to be on the other side. Right? So that's the tile we're going to start with. And we can place this on our play area. Okay, so this is location 9A. Now normally at this point you would spawn locusts according to the location cards and it would be for two players um, spawn a locust B at one of the emergence holes. This here is an emergence hole. But the mission scenario tells us that instead of doing the normal um, location card spawning what we do instead is we play one ticker on any empty area of the um, new map tile for now before we get too far along let's put our tickers here right around this corner now our guys are ready to join the action let's just roll the dice to figure out which which player for the rest of the game is going to be first player so uh, green for coal, the white one for Damon, <coughs> all highest. Right, excellent. Augustus is going to be first player. So Augustus is going to join them up here and he's going to dive straight into cover. And Damon's going to back him up over here. 
Now the setup actually for Roblox tell us that when we place these figures, they've got to be in an empty area, and an empty area is one that has no figures. These are figures, right? So, okay, I'll place one here, and then I'll place one here. Finally, the setup, each player now needs to draw their order cards for the start of the game. Now, this is normally six order cards. The only time it wouldn't be six is if you're playing Marcus Phoenix, who's got a hand size limit of seven. So we're going to draw six cards each. So let's draw six cards for Augustus. Blind Fire. Roadie Run. Charge. Sit Tight. Assault. And Active Reload. Okay, so that's Augustus Cole's hand. Let's draw six for Damon. Okay, we have Active Reload. Advance. Ambush. Sit Tight. Assault. And another Assault. Excellent. And this becomes Damon Baird's starting hand. Just before we get going, let's just do one last check on our setup. So our setup told us we only draw one card, the first card from the location deck for level one. Instead of spawning based on location card, each player spawns one ticker in an empty area. All right, so we've done everything we need to do for the setup. So now we can discard this one. The important thing now is that we're in stage one.